Let's now go ahead and take a look at example 5. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 divided by x raised to the x power. As x approaches infinity, this term on the inside is going to approach 0. And so the inside parentheses is going to approach 1 plus 0, which is 1. Yet this exponent is going to approach infinity. 1 to the infinity is a brand new type of indeterminate form for us. So it doesn't tell us whether or not a limit exists or not. So we're going to have to do something else. The approach to this, whenever you end up with one of these three types of limits, is let's do the following. Let's suppose that the limit would exist. Let's call it equal to y. The limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x. We would like to use properties of natural logs. Notice that everything on this right-hand side is positive. So the natural log of this, if this limit does, ex does exist, would be well-defined. And then because natural log is continuous, we can kind of move that natural log to the inside of the limit. This is the limit as x approaches infinity of the following thing. We have the ln of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the to the x power. We can now go ahead and use properties of the logarithm to take this x and bring it down in front. This is the ln of y is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of x times the ln of 1 plus 1 over x. As x goes towards infinity, notice that x will approach infinity. 1 plus x is going to approach 1 plus 0, which is 1. But then the ln of 1 would be 0. So we would get, at this moment, the indeterminate form, infinity times 0, which isn't something that we can yet apply L'Hopital's rule to. However, we can cleverly rewrite this by doing the following thing. Instead of multiplying by x, I can think of this as division by 1 over x. So kind of taking this x, and instead of multiplying it, divide it by its reciprocal. And the reason why we want to do that is as follows. This numerator, as x approaches infinity, the numerator is going to approach the ln of 1, which is 0. 1 over x in the denominator is also going to approach 0. So when it's written in this form, we do get the indeterminate form 0 over 0, which is something that we can't apply L'Hopital's rule to. So we have that the ln of y is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches infinity. According to L'Hopital's rule, it's going to be the derivative of the numerator. That's the derivative of the natural log of something. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over the thing on the inside. So that's going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over x times from the chain rule. We need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 1, that's a constant, so that's 0. x, you could write as x to the negative first. You would bring the power down, reduce the power by 1, but that would produce negative 1 over x squared divided by the derivative of the denominator. Well, the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of 1 over x, that's also going to be 1 over x squared negative, like this. And now this will simplify. The negative 1 over x squared in the numerator will cancel with the negative 1 over x squared in the denominator. And so we have the natural log of y is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over x. This limit exists as x approaches infinity. This thing is going to approach 0. 1 over x approaches to 0. So the whole limit is going to approach 1 divided by 1 plus 0, which is equal to, to 1. So after applying L'Hopital's rule, we do get a limit for the right-hand side. But this is not the final limit overall. Remember, the limit we were interested in was this limit here, the thing that we set equal to y. 
Right now, the thing that we have solved for is an expression for the ln of y. We now need to go back and reverse the natural log we took of both sides. And the way you can do that is by raising both sides to the e base. If I raise both sides to the e, e and the ln cancel, and I simply get y is equal to e to the first, which is equal to, to e. So the limit in example 5 has the value e. Let's do another one of this type. These, this L'Hopital's rule also works for um, one-sided limits. Let's look at the limit as x approaches to 0 from the right of sine x raised to the x power. As x approaches 0 to the right, the sine of x is going to approach 0. The exponent is also going to approach 0. And this is yet another one of our indeterminate forms, 0 to the 0 power. To resolve this limit, we're going to do the same thing. Let's let y be the original limit. y is going to be equal to the L limit as x approaches to 0 from the right of sine x raised to the x power. We can take the natural log of both sides. When we do that, that allows us to move the natural log to the inside because the right-hand side is positive because it's approaching 0 from the right and because the ln is a continuous function. We can use the property of logarithms to bring that x down now as a multiplication. This is the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x times the ln of sine x. As x approaches 0 from the right, the first factor of x is going to approach 0. The sine of x is going to approach 0 from positive values and then as the ln, as the input approaches 0, the ln is going to approach negative infinity. So this is yet another indeterminate form. It's one that we cannot use L'Hopital's rule for, so let's go ahead and rewrite this by kind of using the same technique we did in the last problem. I can rewrite this as the ln of the sine of x, and instead of multiplying by x, let me write it as divided by the reciprocal of x. So I'm going to divide this by 1 over x. When we do that, the numerator, this ln sine x, is still going to approach negative infinity as x approaches 0 from the right. And the denominator is going to approach positive infinity. Having an infinity over an infinity, this is a form that we can use L'Hopital's rule on. L'Hopital's rule tells us that this is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of the ln of sine of x, it's going to be 1 over sine x, and then from the chain rule times the derivative of the inside, that's going to be cosine x. The derivative of the denominator, I'll let you all work that out, but we've seen that a bunch of times. Rewrite it first, apply your derivative rules, the derivative of 1 over x should be negative 1 over x squared. So, so far we're here. This is the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. In the numerator we have cosine x over sine of x which would be the cotangent of x over negative 1 over x squared. If we wanted to see what would happen with this, as x approaches 0 from the right, so some of you might not be too familiar with um, cotangent, but the graph of cotangent looks like this. Cotangent is cosine over sine. The cotangent of 0 would be equal to 0. The denominator is going to approach negative infinity, so we would again get an indeterminate form, but not one we could use L'Hopital's rule on again. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. 
I can rewrite this, let's say, by bringing the x squared into the numerator. And I'm going to move the cotangent down into the denominator. And we know that 1 over cotangent of x is, this, is the same thing as tangent of x. As x approaches 0 from the right, the numerator approaches 0. The denominator also approaches 0. So we can do L'Hopital's rule again. This is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. The derivative of the numerator is going to be negative 2x. The derivative of the denominator is secant squared x. And now we will get a limit for this. So the ln of y is equal to, as x approaches 0 from the right, negative 2x is going to approach 0. And the secant squared of 0 is equal to 1. So the limit of the right-hand side is negative 0 over 1, which is just going to be, to be 0. So we finally get a limit. We now have a value for the ln of y. We can get the y by itself by doing the natural log of both sides. So by raising both sides to the e power, I should say. And we get that y equals e to the 0, which is 1. So the original limit as x approaches to 0 of sine x raised to the x power is going to be equal to 1. We have one last example. This is the limit as x approaches to 1 from the right of 1 divided by the ln of x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. 1 divided by the ln of x. The ln of x will approach um, 0 as x approaches 1 from the right through positive values. So this is going to approach positive infinity subtracting this thing will approach 0, the denominator will approach 0 from the right, so 1 over that will approach positive infinity as well, and we get another indeterminate form of the type infinity minus infinity. Okay. This isn't something that we can apply L'Hopital's rule to, but we can get closer to something that we can if we actually try to write this by getting common denominators and writing everything as a single fraction. So we're going to rewrite this. The common denominator here is going to be x minus 1 times the ln of x. x minus 1 times the ln of x. For the first fraction, you would have to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1 to get the common denominator. For the second fraction, you'd have to multiply top and bottom by the ln of x. Now that we have that common denominator, we can combine it. This is the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of x minus 1 minus the ln of x divided by x minus 1 ln of x. So from here we're going to try to see what's, what's going to happen next. If we were to try to do direct substitution when x approaches 1 from the right, the numerator is going to approach 1 minus 1 minus the ln of 1. ln of 1 is 0, so this is 1 minus 1 minus 0, which is 0. In the denominator, this is going to be 1 minus 1 times the ln of 1, which is 0 minus 0 times 0, which is again 0. So this would produce the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So now we're able to use L'Hopital's rule on this. If we apply L'Hopital's rule, it's going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. The derivative of the numerator would be 1. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of negative 1 is a constant, so that's 0. And then the derivative of the negative ln of x would be negative 1 over x. In the denominator, when we try to do the derivative of x minus 1 times the ln of x, that's going to be a product rule. The derivative of x minus 1 is 1 times the ln of x plus leave the x minus 1 alone, the derivative of the ln of x, that's going to be 1 over x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches to 1 from the right hand side of the following thing. It's 1 minus 
1 over x times the ln of x plus x minus 1 times 1 over x. This is a complex fraction. Let's simplify it. We can multiply the main numerator and denominator by x over x and then distribute that to all of the terms. If we do so, we get the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. We're going to have an x minus 1 in the numerator. We're going to have an x ln x as the first term in the denominator. And then plus, these will cancel, leaving us with a 1 times x minus 1, which is simply going to be x minus 1. Okay, let's see how we did. Let's try to, to work this out. If I plug x equals to 1 in, the numerator is going to be 0. The denominator is going to be 1 times the ln of 1, which is 0, plus 1 minus 1. So the denominator also happens to be 0. So once again, we get another indeterminate form. And it's yet another one where we can try to apply L'Hopital's rule. Let's try this one more time. This is going to be the limit as x approaches to 1 from the right. The derivative of the numerator is simply going to be, to be 1. The derivative of the denominator, right out the gate, the first term to product rule. The derivative of x ln of x is going to be 1 times the ln of x plus x times the derivative of the ln, which is 1 over x. Derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of the constant negative 1 is 0. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 divided by the ln of x plus 1 plus 1. And we finally actually get a limit. This is 1 divided by the ln of 1 plus 1 plus 1. The ln of 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. So overall, the limit of this expression was equal to 1 half. So as x approaches 1 from the right, 1 divided by the ln of x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is going to have a value equal to positive 1 half.